my name is Tola, uh, and I'm going to be taking us through a time of prayer. I'm sure you would agree with me that uh, there is a lot going on in the world around us that we need to cry out unto the Lord for. I'm going to read to us from the Bible, Luke chapter 18 and from verse 1. This was Jesus um, saying a parable to his followers then. He read, and he told them a parable to the effect that they ought always to pray and not lose heart. He said, in a certain city there was a judge who neither feared God nor respected man. And there was a widow in that city who kept coming to him and saying, give me justice against my adversary. For a while he refused, but afterward he said to himself, Though I neither fear God nor respect man, yet because this widow keeps bothering me, I will give her justice so that she will not beat me down by her continual coming. And the Lord said, Hear what the unrighteous judge says, and will not God give justice to his elect who cry to him day and night? Will he delay long over them? So Jesus is saying here to us that if the unrighteous judge could listen to the widow and do what she wanted because of her continual coming, how much more God, who is our father. So we're going to stand on those scriptures, you know, that first verse that says men always ought to pray and not to lose heart. There's a lot happening in our world that can make us lose heart, that can make us be concerned, be sad, be disheartened, but we're not going to lose heart. So I want to spend this time praying, praying for our community, praying for our world, praying regarding all the things that are happening around us. And I want you to join me in prayer right now. So your situation may be that of maybe ill health, maybe you're considering the fact that you know, your job has been affected by the pandemic. It could be that you're praying over the life of a loved one right now uh, in terms of illness, or maybe you've recently gone through bereavement. Our situations may be different, but we serve a God who understands exactly what we're going through. So we're going to spend some time to pray right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I lift up my voice and I pray over your people as they listen to me now. Whatever be the circumstances in their lives, sicknesses, Lord, we pray for, for health in the name of Jesus. I command every sickness to leave their body in the name of Jesus. I pray for as many as have been bereaved recently. Lord, you will bring comfort that only you can bring in Jesus' name. As many as are concerned, have money worries relating to their job in this time, Father, I pray that you provide for them. Father, I pray that they will find support in different ways in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you, O oh God, for uh, all the people who are working on the front line, the NHS, the postmen, the bus drivers, the people who are working on behalf of the council to distribute food parcels to people and make sure that essential services continue. I pray for grace upon their lives. I pray for protection in the name of Jesus. I pray that the hand of the Lord will rest upon each and every one of you today in the name of Jesus. As many, oh God, as have maybe an ailment that is not even COVID related and they are concerned that they are not getting adequate attention right now, I just ask, oh Lord, that God, you will bring the matter to the forefront in the name of Jesus. That Lord God Almighty, you will speak healing concerning them in the name of Jesus. That Father, Lord God Almighty, there will be a relief for them. As we read in the word, Lord, you are a God of justice. And Lord, you listen to the cry of your children. Father, I pray that in this hour, in this moment of God, and Lord, you will meet them at the point of their need. Where there is pain, Lord, I pray that you, your hand will touch each and every one of us 
and Lord, there will be a release from that pain in the name of Jesus. Where there is hurt, Lord, you are the one that heals the brokenhearted. We pray for your healing right now, spirit, soul, and body. We pray for provision in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you because we have a God that we can call on to. Father, we thank you because we know that you are concerned with our feelings. You are concerned with our well-being. We thank you that indeed you are our God, our Father, our friend, our maker. And we can trust in you. We can call on you day and night. We thank you. We thank you, Lord, for hearing us, for listening to us, O oh God. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, I want to encourage you, if you have a, a particular need, or you have a testimony, or you just want someone uh, to be there for you to, to talk to, that you can interact with, uh, below this video, there will be details of our Zoom meetings that hold during the week. So I want you to reach out, uh, contact, and uh, you will be glad you did. At this time, we thank God for the miracle of technology where even though we are in our homes, we can still communicate with one another, we can pray for one another, we can share fellowship, uh, even though that's in a different form from what we've been used to previously. So reach out to the Zoom links uh, that will be provided beneath this video. Thank you very much for listening in and God bless you.